Today I'm going to show you how I start my seeds and get everything ready to go for spring. It's about three weeks before um, you're supposed to put things in the ground. For me, I'm in a zone six, so that means the second week of May. And it's April 19th today and I am starting some seeds. And I've already started some so I can show you what to do with them. But um, it's so easy and if you have a lot of garden needs for flowers, um, it's very inexpensive and it's a great way to get some rather unusual specimens in your garden. So anyways, I'll show you what I do. I guess I should start out. Um, these are just terracotta pots. Plain, simple, um, readily available, readily um, at any garden center store, at Walmart even. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. These were 75 cents a piece, so not too bad. So all I do is I take, this is a four and one quarter inch pot, but you can really do it in any size. I've even started seeds in little pots like this, teeny tiny little ones. So whatever kind of pot you have, and they don't have to be terracotta either, but I just really like how that looks. So all I do is fill it, and I should talk about this. This is seed starting mix from miracle Grow, and there are so many different combinations of soils that you can use um, during the different growing stages of the plant. And this is a great uh, soil to start out your seeds. It's already done for you. It's perfect for this purpose, and I really like to use it. And this bag costs about three to four dollars depending on where you get it. So all you do is just fill your pot this right here with some soil. And I like to do this right about halfway. I'll do two different pots I suppose. So easy. Then the next thing you do is you're going to want to take your fingers like make a little fist and push down that soil. And then you take some water and you water a little bit. And I just do this to moisten the soil a little bit to help the seeds stay right where I put them. And then you take your seeds. And right here I have quite an assortment of different kinds of seeds. And I did that just to show you how different they all can look. But right here I have nasturtium, uh, beautiful cosmos. I really like this one. Sunflowers, you can see all the different kinds of shapes that sunflower seeds can come in. Um, lavender, I love lavender. It's one of my favorite plants. And um, really small seeds, the lavender ones. And then these are zinnias, um, highlight hybrid zinnias. They're so strangely fluorescent. I really like those. But you see, seeds can look so different, um, round and earthy for the nasturtium. But one thing, you really want to take a look at the back of the seed packet. Because for nasturtium, for example, you are supposed to take a nail file and just rub the seed right on the nail file. And this is supposed to aid in germination. But if you didn't read the instructions, you wouldn't know to do that. And it's really important to do that. It also tells you on the back how deep you need to plant them. So anyways, for today, I'm going to plant some highlight hybrid zinnias because I really like these. And it looks like these need to be planted one quarter of an inch deep or covered with a quarter of an inch of fine soil. So I'm just going to take all these and put them right in my pot all over kind of evenly spaced but you're sowing heavily here and this is the first time I've done it this way but I've really had some great success already and I'm excited to show you this new technique so what you do is you start all the seeds in one pot and then when they get oh about an inch tall you separate them into little seedling pots like this and we're getting there almost so then you take a quarter of an inch of fine soil for this highlight hybrid zinnia I like to just sprinkle it right over. Perfect. So then the next thing you want to do is water. Water really well. I'm going to put this right in this little bowl to drain. But for terracotta pots, you have to remember that the pot itself is porous and the pot will draw out some of the water on its own. If you want, you can fill up the pot with more soil. Um, you don't have to. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So there, that should be well watered and will just drain away. So you want to make sure and you label all of your plants. It's really important. And I just do this with a popsicle stick and a regular ballpoint pen because the ballpoint pen can write on the popsicle stick. It's really good to have. So let's see, highlight hybrid. Zinnia. And it is April 19th. Make sure and you write down that date put it right in and the next thing you do is you cover the top of the seed pot with a little bit of plastic wrap and this will really help you keep that water in there because if 
the pot dries out even once before the seed um, sends out its little shoot, its seedling, the seed is dead. So you really have to watch these in the first couple days. Um, make sure they don't dry out. The plastic wrap really helps. But every morning I would mist this a little bit with some water or give it a little bit of watering from this thing right here. Oh, your watering can right here. And then you just take your next pot and I'm going to take this right here and fill it up with a little bit more dirt. And I'm going to start sunflowers next because they are my favorite. And um, I really recommend starting with sunflowers. It's good to learn starting plants with and they're easy to grow and everybody just loves them. So I'm going to take all these sunflower seeds, one whole packet, and just spread them right over. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just water a little bit. Right there. You take this, read the back, and this needs one inch of soil. So I'm going to put a good amount of soil right on top of these seeds. And this is a mix of sunflowers. I don't really know what I'm going to get. So just tamp the soil down right on top of the seeds and water right over these rocks. And make sure you label 419. And if you read on the back of the packet, you see that these are going to take 7 to 14 days to start to sprout from the soil. And then the zinnias will take about 7 to 10 days. So just cover this with plastic wrap. And secure that plastic wrap with a rubber band. Rubber bands really work well in this case. So now, after that happens and you wait about two weeks, you will have little pots full of seedlings just like this. And I love these so much. Then you just take your peat pots, break them apart a little bit. And these are pots that can go right into the soil after you've planted in them. And they are Jiffy brand. I got them at Walmart for, I think, two or three dollars. For a pack of 50, you can really start a lot of plants in these. So just break one apart, lay right here. And then for the seedlings, I like to just fill the whole thing with soil. Press it in to all the individual compartments. Next, you're ready for your little plants. So I'll start with the sunflower because they're really my favorite. I'll do all of these, but today I'm just going to show you the sunflowers. And you go in with a little butter knife right around the perimeter of the pot just to loosen all these little seedlings up. And then, seems kind of mean, but you just dump these right out. And you see all these little plants. Let me just put this away. Look, one little baby sunflower right here remove that seed. So you take these and these are quite delicate at this stage but um, you want to make sure that the plants are big enough for you to handle but not so old that the vines are intertangled amongst each other. So you just take this little root, press it in very gently, kind of push it in there with a pen. You want to be careful not to break it. Kind of just put it in there, secure it with a little bit of this soil. Maybe take a little bit more on this side. And you'll do that for every single one. I'm going to do it to one more. Go all the way down to the bottom of the pot. Make sure you have a good hole. Just be gentle with them. And put them right in. Right into where they're going to have a new home for a couple weeks. Oops, grab the sunflower right there. Another sunflower. And it is really that easy. Now let's see, I have one. So this is how you do it. Um, you do the same thing for cosmos. You do the same thing for zinnias. Just make sure the plant is big enough for you to handle. It's big enough to um, be put into the pot. You're not gonna really compromise its health by dumping it out onto this. Now little seedlings, little sproutlings, uh, you want to wait a little bit. But if you do this right away, you will have a great start, a head start, weeks on the growing season.